If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe, and also check out all the social media and affiliate links in the description. Hey guys, it's Olaviz, and today I've got a tutorial for you. So, this tutorial is how do you do the splash page in Kingdom Hearts 3, custom splash page. How do you even alter that? So, first of all, if you don't even know what I mean by the splash page, well, when you first blew up the game, um, remember, I'm talking about PC here. When you first blew up the game, you'll see, you know, Square Enix, Disney, Pixar and uh, all the copyright stuff and you won't be able to skip it you have to watch it every single time you boot up the game and it lasts a couple of seconds so what you could do is actually change that to whatever you want to now how do you even go about doing that how do you change something that's just in the game well you just have to replace one file well two files actually but you just have to replace a file so it turns out that that whole beginning thing is just a video file It's literally just an mp4 file and all you have to do is replace it pretty much but however before you don't do anything yet before you do it it has to fit some very specific specifications now first of all this file is in the of course the kingdom hearts file go into the program files in kingdom hearts i'll put the path up on the screen i'll be showing you it but go into there go into the movie section you'll see english and japanese you'll see copyright in there and you have to make sure you replace those and you make sure you do it in both English and Japanese folders. Now, I recommend putting the original copyright thing inside of, you know, just keep it somewhere safe in case you mess up because if you don't do it correctly, then the game will just crash and you'll have to, you know, make sure you put the correct files or change some things around. If you don't have the original files then, and if you, uh, you know, mess up on something, then you just won't be able to play the game. You'll have to completely reinstall it. Nobody wants to do that. So keep those original files safe somewhere, all right? Anyway, now what are these specifications that you need, you know, what's so specific about the file? So first of all, of course, I already mentioned it before, it needs to be an MP4 file, video file, so make sure it's that. And also you need to make sure that it is 1920 by 1088, yes. That's not a mistake, well, not a mistake on my part. Don't make it 1920 by 1080. For some reason, the game does not accept that. It crashes when you do that. You need the specific resolution of 1920 by 1088. I don't know if this is a mistake on Square Enix's part, or I have no idea. I can't think of a reason why. If someone knows why it would be 1920 by 1088, please tell me in the comments, because I really don't understand why they would do that. Because, you know, I have 1920 by 1080 video files laying around, so I was trying to test it with that, but it just crashed every time. And once I saw what the modders do, you know, I saw that they make the video file, you know, 1920 by 1088, and it worked that time. So I, I really don't know why it's like that, but you have to make sure it's that specific resolution. So that basically means that you can't just download a video from YouTube or something and then just put it on there. It has to be very specific, and you're most likely gonna have to put it through a video program, um, video editing program. Make sure that's the resolution, that specific one, or else it just will crash and. The other thing you have to do is you have to make sure you rename your video file to copyright, uppercase C, copyright, make sure it's .mp4, and yeah. So yeah, you can do a whole bunch of things with this. You know, you can make a something that looks kind of official, but more, you know, dynamic than the normal boring copyright stuff like I did. So what I put on Reddit, you know, I put something where it's like Sora growing through the ages since Kingdom Hearts 3 is, you know, the end of the Xehanort saga. I figured, you know... It would be nice if you make a little sword thing going throughout the ages and all that a little montage of him growing up until Kingdom Hearts 3. And then it fades over to the Square Enix logo and then fades to black and all of that. So yeah, that you can make something that looks kind of official or anything like that. Or you could do like a whole meme kind of splash page where it's like, you know, just something crazy. Something that you would not normally see in a, in an official game. You know, of course, no official, what, what game would use something like this, you know? But um, yeah, you could do some crazy meme thing. You know as long as it fits the specifications you could throw a meme in there or you can make it personalized you know you could throw your name everywhere if you want so you could throw you could put a picture of you something you could do whatever you want with this as long as it fits the you know what it needs if you have the resources like an editing program and you know the game of course then you could go make your own but uh, if you really can't do that then you could just go download you know something from online from on nexus so yeah, definitely check the uh, description for that. And uh, yeah, so what do you guys think of, you know, customizing your splash page on Kingdom Hearts 3? It isn't the, uh, 
there's tons of other more complex mods out there but i think it's just pretty cool to you know you can use it to personalize it or just make the you know the 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 boot up of the game more dynamic or look nicer or funnier anything's better than the plain text and the plain logos and all that stuff you know so that's gonna be it for this video and i'll be seeing you guys next time